All right, all right, guys. We are back. We are back, and we are back on a winning streak as well. Yeah, we are. We are back on a winning streak as well, as you can see. After that Wolves loss, <laughs> it really stands out. It really does stand out. Hey. It, it just looks weird. That result looks... It just stands out as different. And we're back. We're back on. We're back on some form. Uh, Triple Egg, uh, you're watching already. Uh, you're in here. What, uh, you're watching while you're cooking. That's cool. <laughs> Multitasking, hey? Multitasking. There we are. I wasn't here for the last stream. What did I miss? Um, where are we? I, again, it's always when someone asks that, I'm like, uh, rejigging where we're at. <laughs> I'm remembering myself and kind of rounding up the results. Uh, you can take a look at him. Take a look at him here, really. See, four two against Sheffield United, three 0 against Dortmund. We knock Dortmund out of the Champions League. Literally, they're. They're gone. They're not even in Europa League. Galatasaray is going to be uh, pitted in the Europa League. Uh, Borussia Dortmund nowhere to be seen. Struggling in their league as well. Honestly, funnily enough, like we're doing Man United and obviously in the Premier League. But something happening in Germany is so intriguing. Borussia Dortmund in fifteenth. Guys, if Wolfsburg win their next game or even draw, they've got a better goal difference. Oh, guys. What is happening to Borussia Dortmund? Uh, Josh, yo, what's going on? P. Devaney as well. What's what's going on? Nice to see all you guys in here. So yeah, Borussia Dortmund. This is setting up perfectly to sign Jaden Sancho, right? For sure, <laughs> for sure. That just it sets it up too well. Uh, there's Thomas Delaney who's wanted. I know he's a very good player. I did a Dortmund save. I think it was last year. I did a little bit of Dortmund and. Yeah, there. He looks like a very good player. I'm just saying, a bit older. He's 29, almost 30. But yeah, Jaden Sancho, you think will be, yeah, someone we can approach. And I just wonder, I wonder, will he like to leave? <laughs> like even more if they do. His morale is quite poor, of course, like their team would be. But yes, I got to remember where we're up to. Uh, Truman Show. Hey, what's going on? Is it just me, or the under-23 team looks a bit skinny? It looks a bit short of ability. Well, not ability, sorry, quality. <laughs> Neymar, sorry, Neymar's just there as well for reserve game, so almost take him out of the equation. Do we promote Jude Bellingham for the next game up? I think we need to take a look at the selection info. Um, oh, they are all fit, so yeah, Jude Bellingham. Who should take part of this next game, this next cup game we got? Uh, we'll get up Chong as well. Gomez. We'll get... Who? how about Emmeran? But yeah, maybe he could make the bench. There's a lot. To be fair, I'll promote... They're like all the better... They're all the better guys. We've got Alanga there. Is it all... We have too many... Do we have too many attacking younger guys? They all can't fit in. Would you move on... Or, or yeah... If you won the Champions League when you rebuilt United, no, it's kind of a long term. Uh, like this save is just United strictly, uh, I think, because a lot of these younger players. What if we win Champions League this season and just leave? I want to see the development of these players, you know. And then in terms of our under 18s, I always, I always want to get Chris Roberts involved. What is funny, guys? What is very interesting is that Pete, guys. What do you make of this? And don't forget Hannibal Mejbri. Oh, we're just going to weigh it up. We're, we're going to promote him. Guys, what do you make of this? Let me know. Pete Watts has played less games and he's smashed in so much more goals. What What do you lads make of this? It has Pete Watts. Is he still... Could he be as good? Like, we've been seeing Chris Roberts as, like, an amazing player. But what about this other guy? Uh, so it's it's hard to it's hard to tell. You can't see games played in position for the the reserves, I guess, or under 18s. But anyway, what do you guys make of it? I already see that Chris Roberts is probably a better current ability. So moving to the senior squad, 
But yeah, Pete Watts is absolutely killing it in the in the under 18s. He seems like the best player, judging off goals, uh, judging off strictly goals. And then other players in our first, like now looks like first team is ridiculously big. But yeah, <laughs> the other like the defenders will just will just rotate like other defenders in the team, make it a bit balanced. So yeah, we'll keep that up. It's EFL quarter final, EFL Cup, Carabao Cup quarter finals. Have you finished your FIFA careers? It depends what you mean by finished. I was going to record an Arsenal one today. The weekend, I was a bit busy on the weekend. I didn't find time to record. But yeah, just FIFA stuff. I always say it in my streams. I feel FIFA stuff is a lot more forced to record. Where these FM streams, or just videos in general, I could say the same with Bar City. I feel streaming is a lot, you know, at the moment for me, it's it just seems a lot more easier in a way and enjoyable yeah Manchester City they beat Liverpool guys it's very close it's very close the league now even Manchester City's not that far away so it's going to be interesting to see even West Ham's in fifth Tottenham is pushing their way back in so yeah interesting after a poor start by Tottenham, now they're not that far away. So you might see Ethan Laird, but I feel his potential... Mm, where it's that three-star, uh, unfortunately, I don't think those players are going to be good enough at absolute top, top level. So, yeah. Let's get into this, though. Where are we at? Then not too far away from this game. It's close enough. Yeah, there we are. The last, yeah, the last result was good. Mason Greenwood continues, continues his work. Let's see his stats for the season. <laughs> Take with, look where the goals come. Champions League, three goals out of the five starts was pretty good. Premier League, six out of 14 starts. He's keeping that consistent enough level. Consistent enough. We'll say that. Any other? Oh, guys. As I just said, Tottenham are on their way back. Well, I mean, they're in a better position than they were earlier. But Watford still beat them 4-1. It's a result Watford needed. Uh, boost their goal difference a little bit. <laughs> what, by plus three? Uh, good, important to get plus three on the points tally as well. That was good for them. And then Hugerworth, he, he's another one. We've got a lot of these guys at around that three-star potential. Hmm, they're interesting. They probably they won't become that top top level, but they're still worth keeping on getting to their best and you think you've got some quality to make a little bit of money off of them. I guess. Uh we mentioned about Arzani and we're seeing some Australian Australian young players. He's that three star as well, so yeah, interesting. Uh what's that? Mino Riola had an interview and said he's been in talks at Juventus. Overall move for Pogba in real life, and he convinced them to pay 150 million. And United are furious. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, guys, I reckon for United in real life, maybe it's better for Pogba to move on. There's value in him, and they they could get good money. They could get very good money, and if they spend that wisely, it's probably going to be a it's probably going to be a big move. And a good move for them, I would say. I do love Pogba, though. But, yeah, you sometimes you have to think above that. Yanazai is on target. I wonder, guys, how do we how do we look towards Yanazai? If you didn't know, we did sign him. Uh, 18 million uh, at his clause, buyback clause. Uh, you know he's valued more than that. Do we sell him next season, make that instant profit, or is he back? Is he a backup winger? 
How do you guys see him? But guys, here we are. Yeah, about mid-December, we have got that Champions League first knockout stage draw. Let's see the teams. Is there maybe any easy like easy wins? We'll find out. Uh, Wilton Boy 5 hey, what's going on? Good evening. How you doing? I wouldn't say there's any... They're all, you know... There could be a couple easier ones, but they're all you're going to be... You have to be on your game. Let's see. PSG v Napoli. Who? Leon. Leon against Real Madrid. Oh, that's going to be a tough task for Leon. Let's see. Now, Atletico Madrid. Manchester, you know, I was wondering how we're going to get Atletico Madrid. That is, you know, that's decent. That's decent. And yeah, I've just started streaming. <laughs> you did the uptime. <laughs> 10 minutes, 44 seconds. We just, we've just got going. We've just got going for the stream today. If you just joined, you haven't missed too much. So yeah, guys, we, we have drawn we have drawn Atletico Madrid. See any of the rest. Arsenal against Zenit. Ajax, Liverpool. You think Liverpool should be strong enough. Manchester City, though, against Bayern Munich. Oh my God. Guys, don't forget Bayern Munich last season were in the Europa League. We beat them in the Europa League. Not to forget that. I wonder if there'll be an additional challenge there. If we face them again, hopefully they can beat Manchester City. I guess we know we can beat them. We did last year. And Inter Barcelona, there's some big games. Oh, guys, look at these. Which game, from your point of view, take away hours, maybe, just if that happened in real life, what, what game would be interesting to you? Man City v Bayern, Inter Barcelona... You know, let me know which ones you'd be interested to watch if these are all on TV. Which one, yeah, which one would you be sitting down, sitting down for? Uh, Josh Cooper, what's up? Hope you had a good weekend, brother. Yeah, mate, uh, I've had a pretty good weekend. How about yourself? Pretty chilled one. I've mentioned a few times in my streams, I've had my mum over in the past week. She's gone home this morning, actually, uh, as she lives in a different state now. But yeah, it was nice to see her. Uh, so what, what's that? Ajax, Liverpool, City, Bayern. Yeah. Arsenal, Zenit. Yep. A lot of those games look interesting. Admittedly. Uh, yeah, good morning for me, mate. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, how you doing, Saputra? Yeah, um, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Sometimes when I when I wake up, I wonder if I'm going to stream in the morning. Sometimes I just need to, you know, wake up properly. I can't like, wake up five minutes and start streaming. The waking up morning process, get in the mood and then get going. <laughs> Have some breakfast. Now, now I'm ready to stream for a bit. Let's get going. Gomez has taken ill. Ooh. See, it's only one day. It's only one day if I leave him to the doctor. And then he'll be fit. Hope no other players get sick, yeah? I've actually never experienced that. I'm trying to remember hardly. Maybe, maybe it will happen now. But yeah, if you wonder about that, if other players might get sick, uh, spreading illness, I, I can't remember. I can't remember it happening, to be honest. What's this? Man City beat Tottenham on penalties and Wolves beat Leicester. So as I said, it was... Lucky we draw Rochdale. We can play the younger lads. Yeah, in another match. In another match, we should be beating them. Who's Kevin Fell? Where did he fall? <laughs> Kevin Fell. Oh, he's got an interesting look at 17. But no, yeah, he's probably not going to be good enough. You never know when you're looking at younger players. Someone might come up. City wouldn't be happening. Yeah, City's out of the Champions League next couple of years, eh? Uh, they won't be in Champions League 2020. Sandro Tonali, though, he's looking good, yeah. What's this? His improvements in recent training sessions. Yep, uh, he needs to continue to play in the first team for his development. He's getting that. He's looking really good. Yeah, Sandro Tonali, Ney, Pirlo. Yeah, he's... I'm excited for his growth. I mean, what position is he going to overtake? In the first team, if it's look, he's starting right now, 
He's starting right now, so... We just got more players in the first team right now because we've got a cup game. I'm just one out of the best player, like Scott McTominay. Will he overtake him? Will he overtake, yeah, McTominay's position? Uh, can you run FM on a laptop? I think it will probably have to be a really good laptop. But I haven't played lap laptop FM for years. <laughs> laptop FM. I remember when I used to. I remember when I used to, yeah. I didn't have, like, a proper PC. That was before I started YouTube. That long ago. That's probably, like, 10 years ago. Like, I've still had had it on la laptops in between, but I wouldn't play FM on it. Because it wouldn't... It, it, yeah, it wouldn't run as well on my PC. So, yeah. Unless I was going away or something like that, I might take it. But then I'm like... I'm going away for a break, <laughs> not to continue play FM. But I haven't in the last I haven't in the last couple years. So as I said, I stopped playing it because of that reason. All right, guys, we are switching we are switching things up again. I know it's it's a lot. Uh, Hend Henderson, well, Henderson's going to stay in goals. We played him in the last one actually. If we go back, yeah, Sheffield United. I thought it'd be good to play him against them. Uh, so one Bissaka. Let's bring on Nathaniel Klein. Who, who would be our younger right back? Oh, no. Let's just play Delo. He would be seen as that right now. How high, how high is his potential? I don't know. At that. He's still 21, though. So he's still at that bracket of a younger player. Um, and as I said, with the defenders, we're just going to be playing players that ha did not play the last game. So they're fit. We don't really have too many of those younger guys. So we, what, we bring in Maguire, yeah? We bring in Maguire and Koulibaly. Keep that experience. Yeah, keep that experience at at the back. Uh, where's that? Uh, Ryan Boy, Triple Eight. Thanks for the follow. First follower for this stream. All right. Yeah, Chris Roberts. He's our high potential youth striker. Even though we have another youth striker, he's got four star potential, but he smashed in more goals. So yeah, I do wonder how he's being used for that reason. But, yeah, Ballingham. Jude Ballingham will bring in Rest Pogba. I'm sure you guys will be interested to see him him at work. Yeah, young Jude. Let's try Mazala, support Tanali. Do we give another guy a chance? Hmm. Bruno Fernandes. If we start Mejbri, put him there. Advanced playmaker. Tenali is still younger, so we might put him in. But then Chris Roberts as well. Chuck him in as a striker. We got so many. So many players here, hey? Uh, so, Emiran. Yes, he's another one. We haven't used him before, but he's absolutely key. He's got 19 goals. I know you can't see it. Uh, normally, we go to the stats, but you can only see the leasing.com trophy, not the... Which is weird. You can't see the stats from this screen for the under... Uh, the under 23s. Or under 18s, either one. So, then Rashford to come off. Gomez has got that bit of injury. Do we forget about Gomez? Guys, if he's recovering from the illness, he could make actually someone sick on match day. So, maybe we won't risk, risk that. I told you I haven't experienced that before. Oh, Chong is better on the. Oh, isn't that annoying? Uh, we'll leave Gomez out, actually. We'll leave Gomez out for this one, because, yeah, we'll chuck him back to the under-23s. We've we're still got enough youth. we still got enough youth to start. That is it. Uh, oh, no, Tillo. Yeah, he should probably be one of the centre-backs. Maybe drop Koulibaly, because he's a little bit more tired. And then he'll be a ball-playing defender. Uh, take Sergio off. And then Luke Shaw, again, the balance rotations here. Sergio has been very good. A lot of, yeah, a lot of rotation there. <laughs> Maybe take Koulibaly off and then we can bring on Martial or Rashford. Rashford's got a better morale, so I'll bring him on in case we need. I'm not minding the, the look of this team, actually. I like the look of it. I like the look of this one. I'm interested to see how Emiran goes, though, for sure. See where his yeah, potential is compared to some other guys. And yeah, how his performance is. So yeah, Chong. So Chong is... He is left-footed. 
but I'm, I'm sure he's good on both feet. But we'll put him as a winger. We'll use him as a winger. So that's going to happen. Maybe Luke Shaw, wing back on defend. Make sure we've got coverage. He might have to play a bit more defensive. So, yeah, guys, we're going to go in, take a look at some of these younger guys. Uh, Jude Bellingham is going to get a squad number. Do we give him number eight? <laughs> guys, do we get him with... The, no doubt he has high potential. Is he the number eight? And young attacking midfielder. Or do we give him something like a 16, guys? Get up in the chat. What number should we give him? Because eight will be pretty permanent. Do we give him number eight? And th that'll, be set, th that'll be to his name now. Do we give him the number eight? Do we give it to Jude? And does he shine? Or, yeah, will he shine today? Okay, come you guys, some of you guys are agreeing. Some of you guys are agreeing with that. Uh, Zhao Gaming, thanks for following. And hey, in the chat. Yeah, a, multiple, a few of you guys did say eight. So, and a couple said 16. I, I don't know. A couple said 16. Okay, we're giving him 16 gives him the chance to be promoted to 8. So, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. It still gives him the chance to be promoted. Let's go. So, another team that's playing 5 at the back. <laughs> Come on, let's see how he goes. Let's see how he goes here. He looks very good, and he's very, very quick. 16 pace for a midfielder, a central midfielder. Yeah, very dangerous in that position. Uh, streams, 345. Thank you. Thank you for following. Yep. Let's get ready to go. Let's go in with the the team talk here. What are we going to say? Carry straight on from the last match. It's funny because majority of these players didn't play in the last match. And actually, it might make sense. The only players that did take part or would be around the first team, Sandro and Delo, or a few of them anyway. Uh, what's that? Hey, FM, playing my Dortmund save while watching. Well, we just checked out Dortmund before, just not long ago, like five minutes ago, and then the, yeah, you know if you watched the last stream, the last stream, how they're going. We beat them. Ah, oh, Tenali scores a goal. How much did you spend on Bellingham? Your director of football can't get him. Oh, it's offside. Was it... Okay. Yeah, is that offside? But th that man there, the 19, did you see him? Oh, who knows. Uh, Bellingham, how much did we pay for him? What, 11 million? But we had add-ons. We had add-ons up to about 29.5, so close to 30 million. Close to 30 million, the total value of a deal for him. Nickname Greenwood the Terminator. <laughs> And Tenali Pirlo. Uh, <laughs> you bought Bellingham for 12 million Dortmund first season. Maybe try and sign him as soon as you can. He's the best. But here's Emirat. Let's see how he goes. Okay. Yeah, mate. You're not you're not impressing me with a shot like that. Yeah, that that's not yeah doing yourself any favors. We want to see how you are compared to these other younger guys like Chong. And, and Mejbri, Hanaba. Oh! Delo scores, guys. Oh, what could, guess what you think I would think for Diogo Delo's nickname? And the clue is, well, it definitely has something to do with his name and maybe his initials. That might give it away. That might give it away. Diego Delo. Come on. Luke Shaw now. Oh, Bellingham! <sighs> that was dangerous. Now, Tonali. There he is, Diogo Delo. Oh, he wins the penalty. Okay, no one said it yet. Double Ds. Double Ds. Double Ds, Diogo Delo. And he wins the penalty. So now, Hannibal to step up. Oh, he takes a really good pen. He takes a really good pen. His hair didn't get her in the way. Nothing. He could see perfectly. Mejbri, look at that finish. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. He's... Oh, Chong got an injury, yes? Of course. I mean, just play him through the match. I mean, when else are we going to use him after this game for the season? Think about it. Unless we get an easy FA Cup draw. Uh, easy team to beat. Anyway, he's looking good, isn't he? 
He's all guys. Isn't he almost looking first team ability? He's definitely under twenty three. He's at seventeen. He's he's past under eighteen ability. I reckon he's he's pushing a Premier League quality player. Maybe not top four, but I reckon he could challenge him. He definitely would be championship level. If we offered him for loan, championship teams would come for him. And that's another goal! Big Double D steps up again. Oh, yes. Diogo Delo, he scores. And he's having a game. Tanali, dangerous ball, then it went back to him. Neat. Right to Delo, headed it down. That's the way. Head it down. You head it down. Tough for the keeper to save. Two goals today and Tanali, two assists. Those are the two that have stepped up in this fixture. How good is the low heading attribute? Well, yeah, what's it? How good is he? What's his heading like? How come I can't click on him there? That doesn't make sense. Oh, then it went like that right away. Guys, wait till the first highlight ends. Big D. <laughs> He's got that vitamin D in him, yeah? There he is. There he is on the ball again. Now, Emiran. Imagine we score right away. Or, or we just waste it. Sure. Imagine if he gets a hat-trick somehow. <laughs> Can't imagine him getting it, but... If he ever would, he's set up perfectly in this game... Let's see. We're building up for something. Chong. Where's Delo at? <laughs> it's Emiran. Hey. He comes up to get a goal. We're happy with that. 4-0. So we're smashing them. Even with a lot of these younger guys. in the That was a really well-worked goal, wasn't it, guys? We score a minute, really. A minute into the second half. Chong. Good ball. Emiran. He was just there for the finish. So, yeah. Delo. His heading is only 8 and jumping 10. And he looked like he was just... You know, experience head of the ball with the goal he scored. Which was... Yeah, that was excellent. That was excellent, guys. So he's got the throw in here. Sure. To Bellingham. Come on. Oh, this is built up nicely. Let's get a fifth. Chong, set it up. You got to set this up. You got to do something. There we go. Sure. Roberts... Wanting him to find a goal. Tenali. Here's Delo again. Delo. Oh, it is a goal. It's Chong. It's possible Tenali got a hat-trick on debut for me. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, two headers and one penalty, which he took because he was on a hat-trick. Yeah, fair enough. If, I mean, if we get a penalty. But that was another assist for him. I just mean in general positions. Like here. Chong gets the goal. And it's 5-0. See, even with his injury, obviously not troubling too much. Ooh. Who's going to step up for the free kick? It's Mejbri. Could he score another one? Mejbri. Oh, almost. Needed a bit more curl on that. We're, we're seeing a bit of the future today, aren't we? Maybe do we take off Chong now? But, I mean, look who we have on the bench. It's like more players that will be in the first team. But Henderson. Takes it. Let's see, but Delo, he's been he's been a leader today, really. He's kind of playing like a captain. Now it's Ballingham. Oh, guys, imagine Ballingham and Tenali in the future, the two centre mids. That's exciting. And Mejbri in there as well. But Delo, could he get another goal involvement? He does, and it's the chance. Guys, we are rolling them today. We are right. It's six nil. How much can we get? That ah, oh, that passing build up. How good was that? How good was that? Chong, another header by <laughs> Chong. Oh, how about it? See, look who we got on the bench. They're like players who'd be starting normally. Chong, yeah, we wouldn't start any of these guys. Maybe Tanali, we would. So. We don't really have a central midfielder on the bench, though. So, he, he might he might not be playing the next one. We'll have to see. Delo. 
Maybe you don't want the low too tired. Let's bring on one Basaka. Give him some 20 minutes. A good 20 minutes. And yeah, our rest will be play. Their players on the wing or striker. So we leave Roberts, Mejbri, Emiran. They won't be playing the next game. Same with Bellingham, really. So Luke Shaw, 77. Maybe we'll bring on Sergio. There we go. Then he put it in. Can we get another goal? Don't. Yeah, they're done, mate. Is his name actually done? <laughs> his name is done. Oh, how about that? Dicko. They got some names here. So you, so my team looks similar to yours. If you got Bellingham and Tenali, yeah. Uh, they're two good options. They're two great options to get in. Now Emiran. Look at him. Delo. Oh, nice. Oh, neat. Chong might be the hat trick scorer. No. No. But put in, put in great pressure on them, aren't we? Excellent. Nothing to come from that. Let's see. I'm not sure if we'll make another change. Have to see. But surely we've got this here. Are they going to get a late goal? Emiram. Oh, finds Bellingham in the middle. Wasn't that good. Oh, that's going to be a red. Rathbone, he's sent off. Rochdale haven't had a nice game today. Not a very nice game. Maybe make a final sub. Uh, I reckon Maguire, maybe, in terms of who might play the next game or be involved in the team. He probably won't, though. You never know with injuries. Bring on Mike Smalling. Can we finish him at the end? And there he is, and he wastes it. <laughs> uh... Has to need some time to get a feel of the game, but we're towards the end. And we get a very, very impressive result by our performance. Almost 70% possession. Imagine if we played our strongest team, guys. What would have happened if we played our strongest team? Oh, boy. Yes. That was great. That was great. And QPR actually beat Southampton on penalties. Look at that, guys. There was two goals in injury time. 90, what, 95th minute, 96th minute, wow, how was their time for that, if I was QPR, I would have been celebrating with the winning goal, then Hoiberg comes through, uh, Chong gets injured, so yeah, Chong, back to the under 23s, Bellingham, he had a great game, but he's also back to the 23s, under 23s, yeah, look at that, Man United in real life, 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one versus Rochdale, and with me, with me at the wheel, 6 nil with not even our strongest team. I can't remember, like, did they rest some players in that game? But anyway, who else we're going to drop down? Do we have too many players in the team here? <laughs> yeah, we've got to get rid of them. Ballingham, removed from the position. Mejbri as well. Yeah, get him into the under under 23s. Emiran, remove. Under 20. Yeah, put him to the under 23s. That's where he was, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, eh? And then Roberts, Roberts under, under 18s, though. You could say he probably might challenge himself. Or, or challenge for a position there. And let's just do a quick pick so he gets a, a settled... Settled lineup for now. Settled. I'm not sure of the right word. Just to get that in. Then Fernandez attacking midfielder. That, I like how it fits there, where his best role is attacking midfielder, not advanced playmaker. That means we can play Pogba advanced playmaker there. Yeah, that that works well. That does work well for us. And yeah, we'll we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that for now, as we will get into the next game, and then we'll see. We'll see who's looking most most fit. Yeah, FMTV's at the wheel. <laughs> yeah, mate. We got Magic City up next, though. 
So this is really important to beat them. Really, really crucial. Really crucial. Let's work on the defensive shape, though. And maybe set pieces defending corners. I feel like we haven't done that for a while. So that's what I mean. When people ask me about training, it's always set like by default, and I'll make some changes. Like every so often, I'll make some changes, add some match preparation. So yeah. Esposito, I remember he was suggested at some point. I remember the name. We should have him scouted. We do. And on the short list, we do. He's extremely interested to join United, but they don't want to sell. Do we need a younger type of striker, though? I always just think we don't need to when we've got Mason Greenwood, then our youth strikers coming through our, the regions. We got, I mean, the, in the past intake, we got two young strikers in. So. I think we're settled. It's always good when you can have your future set through youth intakes. When youth intakes come through. Uh, Sal Bruno Fernandez. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I would. Bruno Fernandez still very much. He's only 26 as well. He's got a few more years at his very best. If that's what you meant to ask, <laughs> Sal Bruno Fernandez. I saw Sal and Bruno Fernandes in the same sentence. That's not often something I've wondered about. Or had in mind. Hopefully we can have a good... Yeah, a young... A young keeper. A regen... Or, or new gen. A <laughs> new gen keeper. Would be perfect. Or we might have to, you know... Well, see, De Gea... De Gea's still 30. You know, he's not that old. Um, I mean, he's still, pro what I mean at 30, as a keeper, he's still probably got four or five years at his best. So you know what I mean? It might need to be, like, it's not something we need to stress about so much. Because someone's going to need, be be need to be better than De Gea <laughs> to replace him. Uh, oh, if you sell Bruno... Yeah I'm, not, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, not to worry. Not to worry, he's here. Yeah, 30 at a goalkeeper is prime. Uh, Dan Davin, what's going on? It's your birthday. Uh, happy birthday, mate. How old are you? Let me know. Oh, we face QPR. Guys, where... <laughs> you assume Man City will beat Wolves, but maybe, maybe we'll play a few more of the younger guys against QPR, yeah? Because QPR is struggling in the championship. It's it's really set up set up perfectly. for Guys, I have this guy in my Bath City save. <laughs> James Clark. Go shout out my Bath City save. I might record a bit of that today. 41. 41 today? I always forget about, like... I'm used to my audience being younger from FIFA content. Like, I, or it just doesn't... It doesn't trigger in my mind, you know, like... People that are like parents, <laughs> 40 years old. Um, obviously, parents can be younger, but you know what I mean? Like someone who's 40 years old watching me, but that happens with Football Manager. Like, that's a, that's a good thing. That No, that's a cool thing to me. It's not a bad thing, me mentioning that. It's just imagining that situation, you know? It, it's okay, just someone older than me watching me play, play a game. That's a weird thing. Because normally in my life... I'd have people older than me telling me to stop playing games. You understand? <laughs> that's that's the logic. That's the logic behind it. Uh, oh, don't forget Rafa Benitez. Guys, uh, that's a bit over top. Rafa Benitez and Pogba's injured. Four to five days. Blisters. He's got some blisters. Oh, that's not good. He's going to miss the game. Right? Oh, Pogba. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. And again, Mason Greenwood is topping, he's topping training. Uh, what's that? You're a nice lad, footy, and you do a grand job. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, mate. Inbox. Let's go. But yeah, it's big game. Manchester Derby, guys. What are your... You're a bad manager. Totally. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you for following, though. <laughs> That's weird, but cheers. Cheers. Let's get into this Manchester derby. It's a, it's a perfect time for a game like this, let's say. It's a perfect, a perfect game for a remark. <laughs> like that. Uh, let's bring on Greenwood to start. Guys, I'm really motivated to get a win here, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tovan's going to come back in. Nathaniel Klein. <laughs> Diago Delo probably could make the bench. All right. Tovan. Inverted winger. Want to try my tactic? What's your tactic? What's your tactic? Wait, are you the same guy that linked me a tactic that wasn't his and said he was better at tactics? Yeah, <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so, Pogba. Guys, what do we do with Pogba? Do we play him? Because he's fit enough. Or is this blisters situation... Do we play Tenali? Do we forget about... But, guys, Pogba's been our best player for the season. I mean, 7.39, uh, kind of up there. Marcia, oh, guys, Neymar. Re recommended 75 minutes. I want to see... I want to see their magic. So you suggest formation. That's not a tactic. It's a formation. You just say 4-1, four, 4-1. One, four, one. Honestly, I could succeed with changing up the formation here with my tactics or my my tactical style. That's where a lot of it comes from. Because I've got other formations. I've got other formations using a similar, like pretty much, pretty much the same tactical style, but in a different formation. <laughs> anyway, Jack Grealish still missing. So Pogba, we leave him out. I, I don't mind that. I, I don't mind McTominay Tonali. That's a bit of, uh, yeah, it's, it's not too attacking minded. So we're going to go in like this, lads. Yep. I like the look of this team. Koulibaly. Hmm. He's not... Do we bring in Mike? Nah, guys. Uh, 75 minutes. If he gets tired, sub him late and bring on Mike, yeah? <laughs> Maguire. Or do we take Mike off and leave Harry Maguire as the only one? Mike Smalling, of course, if you're new. Uh, Tillo. We need maybe... No, we got Dogo Delo there. Tillo. Just because his versatility is a bit extra. Yeah, we'll do that, guys. We'll go in like this. Let's see what Neymar does. Greenwood's going to start because he's been amazing. <laughs> As the striker. And Neymar starting ahead of Martial. Even though Martial... Uh, guys, Martial's been amazing. What do we do? I don't know, guys. I mean... With Neymar not 100% fit, uh, probably best to be on the bench... How do you how do you link your tactic? Well, where do you have your tactic? Where do you have it uploaded? Anyway, we're, last minute change. Martial to start. Ahead of Neymar. If Neymar needs still that fitness, it's probably not the best to start him in a game like this. And look at Man City's side, lads. It's very strong. Can't see too many weaknesses. Obviously, it's like they signed Chilwell, uh, Ayer, Christopher Ayer. Is that how you say his name? I heard that once. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Violets are violet. Manchester is red. This doesn't make sense. What have I just said? You can upload tactics on FM base. That's where a lot... I totally don't use that. I use my own tactics, mate. <laughs> but yeah, that's where... That's where the most popular tactics are. Or most tactics you can download. I, if anything, I use those websites, uh, like fan sites, for tips on tactics. You get a good advice from people as well. So if I go there, I'll probably like, to read actually people's feedback. Helps you out. Helps you out tactically. Right, Bernardo. Okay, Koulibaly does well. Yes, this... I like long balls, but not straight to Manchester City. Oh, Martial could show to be a good selection. And then he loses possession. That's not good. Oh, and it could lead to a goal. That happens so much in FM, so I wouldn't be surprised. 
De Gea, did you like how he dove for that when he was so far away? His dive? Did you take a look at that? He was nowhere near it. He, late. When, when the ball passed him, he went to make the save. That was weird. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, Koulibaly. So, guys, you reckon we're winning this one? You reckon we're winning here? Martial to Bruno Fernandes. Tenali. Martial. This is good stuff, though. Martial. Oh, it's a goal, though. Yes. Neymar's been injured for a period. Before he got injured, he was he actually had some good form. Yeah, he had some really good form. He was getting... He was creating a lot. Yeah, the injury kind of... You know, slowed him down a little. But guys, we just got a goal. Marcia, that was probably the correct decision, though. To bring... To bring Anthony Marcia, who's had the best season. Uh, yeah, Aguero, make sure to close him down. Probably a good thing. We've got a lead. Taking the lead to halftime will be sweet, lads. There's a highlight, though. If we score a second, would be excellent. Here we go. Tenali to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, turn by Martial. Oh, Greenwood got in his way. Oh, that's unlucky. Did you see? Did you see that? That was a nice touch. Guard against complacency. What? Okay, someone has some, like, complete split personality disorder. You you tag me and say, oi, your shit, and then just send a normal comment to someone else in the chat. Told you, these internet is weird, though. <laughs> uh, the internet is a weird place. We're winning, though. Look at the scoreboard. Look at the scoreboard. Can, can you see it in the chat? Can't you read it? Or is it like a private message? Like a whisper? No. You can see it, right? I swear... Like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what you're here to achieve. Like, yeah, mate. <laughs> it's funny to me, though. Um, okay. What we're going to do is, might be a bit of a left field substitution, Tenali for Neymar, then you're like, what? Ugh. Not the greatest change, but then we switch. Don't forget, we were training Neymar as a shadow striker, and then Fernandez. Can go Mazala. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do that. What's that? Get Martinez down the line. Yep, if he can... I wonder where he'll fit into the team, though. Say if we had Martinez right now. Who would we... Who would he be? He'd be starting ahead of Greenwood. Really? Oh, and here's Sane. We're in a bit of trouble. We're in a bit of trouble here. Do we go balanced? I remember doing that last time and we conceded a goal. you got to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> learn from your mistakes. Uh, Sergio, can we bring on all Delo? Well, maybe should have... See, I didn't know that would be a situation. One Bissaka, maybe, and we'll bring on Delo. I mean, Delo's good form, yeah? I just want to keep playing this way. Maybe drop the tempo a little bit. Take out play out of defense. And just be a bit more direct. Hmm. Little changes. Nothing massive. And then Delo, Maybe a wing... Complete wing back support. So, and Sergio, full back. Uh, nah, guys. I've got to be a bit more responsible. Wing back defend for Delo. Just mix the roles. Get the right mixture of the roles.
Hmm. Angelino. Tackle. Oh, Aguero. Save it. This is important game to win, guys. Always it is for multiple reasons against City. We got one more sub up our sleeves. So this is where it could be a yeah, a Torvan. Torvan to come off, I reckon. And then we bring on Everton. Don't forget Everton. He 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 didn't he shine in a recent game. And here he is talking about it. Maybe yeah, Aguero, Mark again. <laughs> Everton. Oh, told you he's dangerous. It just goes out. But it is for a goal kick. It's been a good game. Let's tell the lads just to concentrate the last 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes and we've got the three points. Let's finish them off here. Neymar, great ball. They clear it green which you get to this. Greenwood. Set up Neymar. Oh, yes. I told you when Neymar's played, he's been great with setting up. He's been great with assists. And he seals it. Obviously, Martial with the finish. But it was neat play by Neymar. What's that? Luke Shaw in real life said he's ready to silence the, his haters. Is it... It's, the, it's a weird thing when your haters are fans of the club as well. But a lot of Man United fans are like that right now. They're a bit not happy with the performances. And even under, did you see Jesse Lingard? He posted something recently on Twitter. A few was it yesterday? A couple days ago? And the negativity on it is ridiculous, man. Like, and I find like I don't want to point out people, but like people who are very negative towards Jesse Lingard are people that are from other countries. And yeah, I don't want to say too much. Just like, and I feel like I don't know. They're very just they're w much worse people than Jesse Lingard is. Jesse Lingard is a much better person than people you see saying things about him on Twitter. Like, those people are worse than him. People just judge him off his football ability, what he's doing on the pitch. And like... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy stuff you see with Jesse Lingard. We got... We, we just beat Manchester City, though. We just beat Manchester City. And I told you guys, it was a... Don't forget. Don't forget. Uh, don't forget, I'm not the greatest manager. I'm not the greatest manager, you know? I'm just... I'm bad. Like the comments, or from one person. It's probably just for attention, to be honest. With how well I'm doing. Because we're on a winning streak right now. I reckon... We're gonna... We're gonna up... Up... No, guys, last time I updated the title to say unbeaten streak, we lost a game. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave Neymar. <laughs> Neymar attracts a bit of attention. And, yeah, he had a little bit of a cameo, let's say. Had a little cameo. Alrighty. We got a... Oh, there's goalkeeping training there overall. Mm-hmm. Maybe instead of outfield, here will work match preparation, attacking movement. A kanji, yeah. We generally, we generally are searching for players during our, our streams. Like he's all right, you know, pretty good centre back. Uh, I just feel like, yeah, right now we're not looking at players. We're just like, <laughs> we got li guys. We got Liverpool coming up as well for the last match of the year. How to finish off twenty twenty. We could go... Well, I mean, we are top of the league right now, technically. Oh, well, after Southampton, we got them. So, yeah, a lot of names. Um, how about that Estevez as well? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what's his first name? Thomas. Thomas Estevez. Is he there? Is he in my site? Oh, here we are. Porto. See, he doesn't look... See, he's a different one. D good suggestion. <laughs> Unique. Uh, Misaya. Misaya, if that's right. <laughs> pronounced. Uh, pronunciation. Misaya, one, two, three. Appreciate following. Uh, who's that? 
Palacios. Is that how you pronounce it? Is that how it's spelled? I've seen Palacios. Is that without a U? What's his first name? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, what's his first name? We'll give you more of an idea. <laughs> yeah, you know a lot of Portugal's... Rafa Benitez, what's your problem, mate? Son, he wants to be removed from the transfer list. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Pal that's what I was going to say. Palacio, I thought that's how, how it was about that. Ezekiel, I think we got him scouted already. We got him scouted already, yeah? Yeah. I just... I know, there was something I didn't like about him. Was it his physicals? A lot of players. Do you need to have good specs for the fast game speed? No, uh, you need... Yeah, you need a decent PC. You still need a decent PC. Or, if you have added things in the game. If you play the game as it is, without added face packs and all that kind of stuff, it is going to run quicker. Guys! Tottenham beat... Well, no, Tottenham lose. Sorry, I look at it at Leeds and I say Tottenham. Leeds lose... Oh, guy, I, I quit. I can't even speak the way I want to. Leeds beat Tottenham. That's fucking it. Leeds beat Tottenham. <laughs> oh, guys, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Oh, all right. But what do you, what do you make of that? I think that guy who the guy left who called you shit. I mean, yeah, he's probably just here for troll trolling purposes. Is he wouldn't he wouldn't last long? And Liverpool just win. Ah, come on, Chelsea, do better, do better. But yeah, we we're going. We we've got a we want to play Liverpool guys. We do want to play Liverpool. We want to play Liverpool in this stream. I'll check out that player, Almeida. Is that right? Thiago Almeida, he's not really showing up. He's probably I I feel like I've seen him before. Yeah, there's there's no I in his name. <laughs> in his second name that is. Yeah, we've scout we don't have him on the shortlist. He has very good potential, but he's been scouted. So yeah, guys, we're we're <laughs> he's decent value, but work permit unlikely. There's some players I've just avoided a lot if their work permit is unlikely for obvious reasons. Okay. Uh, Chong is making positive development. I almost called him Jong for a second. Recently, someone called me Jong. Can you guess who it could have been? <laughs> Sorry. Fuck. If you guys don't know, my real name is John. And you can call me that if you want to. But I was recently called Jong, with a G. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, Arsenal struggle to beat West Ham. Well, they don't beat West Ham. What's my winning percentage? Oh, if we go into the the profile, where's the winning percentage? Under history, yeah? 80. 80%. 80 Is that pretty decent, guys? Pretty decent? I'm happy with that. Yeah, my real name is John. If you wanted to just call me by name. Hmm. 
we just got a bit of continuing at the moment. Uh, who's that guy? Okay, yeah. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. And <laughs> we'll click on him. He could be decent. He could be decent. Add him to the short list. Just because he seems to have good potential. But guys, can you can you can you guess the reason why I probably won't want to sign him? <laughs> can you guess the reason? It's not off of his ability. It's not off of his ability. His name. <laughs> His name, that's it. Uh, Maguire is developing concerns. Just ask De Gea to resolve the issue. <laughs> Hopefully it does it. And Maguire he drops it. But yeah guys, we 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 want to get to we want to get to that Liverpool game because that's really really big. It's really really big. So I'm going to just try and continue as much as we can. But Grealish get him some match sharpness until match fit. Yep. Bournemouth beat Sheffield. Guys, Sheffield's struggling in FM, though. They are. And Bournemouth needed that win. Let's have a check on Dortmund. I feel like Dortmund is like... They're, they're getting close. They're like part of this save now. Guys, they're in the relegation zone. What? What? I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what. If their manager is not sacked yet, I'm going to be surprised. Yes, guys, it was coming. That had to be coming, right? Who's their young talent? Did we scout him yet? No, we probably didn't. Wa Wait, how? what's his value? Okay, maybe get a scout report. He's only 15. Guys, d how long ago and did he get sacked? Three days. <laughs> Three days it's been. Um, the new managers come in. How about that? What? No Halan, no party. But yeah, that was coming. That was coming. I'm not sure. Like, how are they doing this poorly? That's a big question. And Hannibal's still killing it in the reserves. At only 17. Uh, who's that? Versharen? Versharen or Versharen? <laughs> Close, surely. Oh, he looks good. Yeah, he looks good. Is he one we have on the short? Yeah, guys. Quite a bit of players you'd suggest. We've already got on. We've already got on the short list. Because through this save already, there's been a lot. I'll tell you what. A lot of players. A lot of players. Suggested my way. A lot of players suggested my way. Alright, you want to get to... we got to be careful. Guys, how do you reckon we approach this Southampton game? Because we got to make sure we play our strongest team against Liverpool. I think we're covered for left-backs, though. I think having Luke Shaw... Luke Shaw and Sergio, we're done. Like... Those are two good left backs for us. Which Sergio being twenty four, and Luke Shaw twenty five. Yeah, they got multiple years left in them. Would you say Luke? Sh Look at his ability. Two and a half star. It makes you think. For injury prone as well, a little bit. He hasn't had that many injuries so far. What else do we need to see about Dortmund? What do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you want me to show you? Oh, guys. What is happening? Did Tot... Finally! Has there been something done? If finally something is... Matty Taylor is the current manager. He's he's a caretaker. Guys, in Football Manager, it finally took them. It, it took them a while. 
But Pochettino, he finally left. He finally left them. So, who's gonna... There's some big names there. What, Bielsa? Wait, hasn't he already got a job? Or did he get sacked? Where was he? He's at Everton. They're gonna... They're gonna poach Everton's manager, Mancini, Roberto Mancini, who's currently unemployed, off of... Uh, a stint at Italy, coaching Italy. Very, he, we're not going to be able to sign him, would we? <laughs> no, these only managers, yeah, they won't accept any other roles. There's a lot of stuff there. A lot of stuff to take in. Me progress. Alright. Again, that's a lot of players. We might come to it at a different at a different time, so keep those players in mind. But as for now, yeah. As as for now, we'll leave it. I know that the, the suggestions are heavy. Uh, yeah, as I said, we're, we're almost going to... Just look at it, guys. Look at our budget. I think this should say it. Look at our budget right now. Three mil. We're not going to be able to sign. Three million, 10K. We're not going to be signing anyone until next season. So, suggestions are in the back burner. They're in, in the back burner. Nathan Woods, like all these names. Who's that? My, I, don't, I don't think I've heard of him. Wait, who's that Mike? Wait. Mike? No. <laughs> I know what you're doing there. <laughs> uh, no. Romario Barrow. But wait, who's Nathan Wood, though? I don't think I've heard of him. Is he any good? He looks alright. He's at Wolves. I'd like his heading to be a bit better. We're all good. Kava, 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 Kava. Let's keep going though. Oh my god. I'm tired. I suppose to, uh, it's supposed to be morning. <laughs> uh. Right, Pereira's back. Let's get him some fitness. Match fitness. But he doesn't need it. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. So you say uh, the current ability, like Shaw's been so good in this. Say, I don't get it. Like I know you look at Shaw and see two and a half star, and you think, "Oh, get out, get out! He's terrible. He's a terrible player." But he's been good in this save. Guys, don't judge performances. Judge performances, not like coach reports. Like off of performances, he's been great. And last season, last season he was one of our better players. Especially earlier in the season, he had one of the highest average ratings. Judge of performances, like real life. Are you rating the same guy? I'm not sure who I'm going to raid after my stream. Depends who's live. Yeah, I'm not signing anyone until next season. I'm not, and we can't. It's just, it's simple as that. Respectfully. Respectfully. Respect the decisions. <laughs> yeah. We'll come to a point where we can search for players. Because we'll just keep continuing in this cycle. If I search for a player, then someone's like, Ooh, he's searching for players. Then more people come in with names. And it's a whole it's a whole circle. Like, lads. Look how many we've got on the short list. Look at all these players we've got. In well, if we edit the search, take off a certain... That's 35... We got 119 players on the short list, guys. So we got bare players there. We got so many players. We got so many. There's a lot. 
that don't even have recommendations at the moment. But yeah, we've got. We'll be interesting to see the maximum asking price or what's the lowest. But a lot of them are. If you look at someone who's decent, how about this guy? See, when I get into my searching, it'll be like that. He could be pretty cheap. Stop spamming. If you, if you like, I'm gonna be very simple. Like I'm simple. If you spam, you just get timed out and then banned if you keep doing it. Like, so if you have players, we search. We'll search for an, another time. It's an important time of the. It's a time where I need to be focused because we got Southampton. Then there's a day break. Then we have got a really important game against Liverpool. Nah. So I get frustrated. And guys, if you're watching on the YouTube replay, someone's saying the same shit every single time. If you're wondering... Sorry. It's very frustrating. For me? <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, offers made. Do we need to accept the... How good is this keeper? Nah, he's not good enough. So, who are we going to get? They're all about the same price around the mark. Well, do we... Like, he's not... I'm just going to accept all because he's not, like, a crazy worth. It's nothing that's going to change us. Check out... Uh, check out Akin Fenwa. He's a young and upcoming prospect, but I don't think he has the physicals. Uh, oh, I'll... Akin Fenwa just for the just for the lols, yeah. He's an assistant manager. Oh, 16 working with youngsters. Wait, who was the other one? It was Zlatan, wasn't it? It was like a, a intimidating prospect. Imagine if you had Akin Fenwa. Uh, uh, <laughs> why did I pronounce that weird? Akin Fenwa and Zlatan Ibrahimovic as a youth coach in your team. That will scare them off. <laughs> but they'll do a good job too. How about that? Get him to do it. Get Akin Fenwa as a coach. Oh, that's going to be good. His determination is good. And he, he comes with some Nigerian uh, Nigerian world knowledge. Get him trained. Get a set up. Uh, we might come back to him. Like, overall, he's not the quality we need. But Arsenal's come up. Guys, thank you, Arsenal and Liverpool. Have they got some injuries or something right now? Uh, why are they dropping? Oh, they got Firmino injured. Grimal are oh, both left backs. Who are you playing at left back right now, Liverpool? Gomez. Oh, did injuries help us? They got struck down. Oh, cheers, Arsenal. Cheers, Arsenal. But they, yeah, how how's Liverpool looking now? Not not very good. Uh, didn't I say it will be like last Su's? Last Su's. I'm too excited. That's when my uh, speech goes weird. <laughs> speech. Uh, <laughs> guys, is it going to be the same as last season? Liverpool's going to lose some games and we take the lead. We take the lead. Oh, it very well could happen. Uh, Estevez. Okay, he's a 53 recommendation. See, a lot of time when we get a player that's suggested, you know, he's not that great in terms of his, you know, ability. Oh, but Manchester City, they might hitting might be hitting their gears now. Uh, guys, we've got to be careful because we've got Liverpool. But we can't play a crap team here. Is it another game we play Henderson? Or, again, not risk. Don't risk. Nathaniel Clark... Guys, he's only he's only wanted on a loan. I was going to say, if we sell him, make some profit, would be really good. If we can, if we can manage to do that. Now, Sergio, where's his, again, best fullback attack? Let's put him on that. And then one Basaka's best is fullback support. Okay, see, I think that's good balance. Lindelof. See, his best one is cover there, but I don't exactly want to have a cover. Yeah, Koulibaly, central defender. Okay, guys. Southampton, how you reckon this match is going to go? Pogba. Pogba to come back in. Who do we drop out? Maybe one of the center. Maybe probably Tillo there. And then Tanali. There we go, guys. To sort this out a bit. How are we liking this team? Play Big D. Do you, nah, but one Basaka. He, he, he'll he come on. He'll come on for the fitness. Martial. I reckon this is where we play Neymar. This is where we get Neymar's fitness. Everton to start ahead of Torvar. But Torvar, no. The, 
any of these guys that's really tired though. There's there's ninety sevens, but going into this game, we're managing it pretty well. Oh, Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw ahead of Sergio. To sh yeah, I want I want to guys, I want to play Luke Shaw here, maybe just to show that he he has got that quality. Forget a uh, forget a coach report. Forget a coach report. Honestly, guys, if we have Luke Shaw as backup to Sergio, that's great. Like, he's a 40 million, 41.5 million worth left back. He could be, I don't want to say one of the best in the game, but he's playing well for us. And that's all we'll say. Let's get into this match now. I'm not going to waste too much too much time. Let's just go. All of you guys, well, all the recommendations are me, are like us to win, like but with a clean sheet. With a clean sheet. Uh, but of course, guys, if you are in the stream right now, but you're not following, make sure you do so you can catch more of this United save and see where we go forward. Bruno Fernandes is going to score two goals in this game, you reckon? Let's go. Let's go, guys. All motivating talk. And we will still want to have a great game. Like, have that form going into Liverpool would be excellent. Let's go and see what, yeah, see what Neymar does in this one as well. Exciting. Luke Shaw, watch Luke Shaw get injured and subbed off, subbed off after 20 minutes. Come on. Uh, Steve John, thanks for the follow, mate. All right, 25 minutes in. Ooh, oh, what's the odds we're going to concede from this? I was about to pause. No, okay. Or well, what's the odds we can score now? Let's see how we build up from defense. I always love seeing that and having it showcase from a throw-in. Well, throw-in, a goal. <laughs> uh, he, he rolls the ball out, throws the ball out. Now to, uh, to see how we build it up from the defense. Just like this. Just like this. Ooh, come on, man. We should have got a goal there. I see how we just built that up? From the goalie? From De Gea? That was lovely. But we're not really creating too much here. Let's make a little bit of a change. And then we go higher width. Uh, thanks for the... F uh, is that Al Giant? I see you in the chat as well. Is that supposed to be like elegant, but with an eye in it? Because <laughs> elegant came to my mind. Go to my mind. Anyway, guys, then we go. No, not hit early crosses. Uh, the width, yeah. There we go. Will we be watching the Chelsea game? Oh, what time does it start? I'll have to check the time. Because, yeah. If it's too early, if it's too early for me, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a check. To see what time it is for me in Australia. Uh, here it's 7 a.m. So I probably yeah yeah no nah, it's good. Yeah it's good. Uh, so it'll be 7 a.m. here. So now nah, that's er it's not too early. It's not too early. Yeah. So I should wake up for that. I'll watch the what's the game against Chelsea, and I'll, I'll probably stream after it. Yeah, 7 a.m. Melbourne time. So I'll stream after it. If you guys remember <laughs> to, to check oh, after the United game, and we'll come have a chat. We'll come have a chat about the performance here. Uh, well, I'm not happy the performance out there in this game, though. Come on. Do I watch tennis? Oh, not really. When the Australian Open's on, yeah, I'll probably watch it then. I don't go out of my way to watch, you know, just... Unless, like, an Australian player is, is playing, I might watch it. But, yeah, I don't go out of my way to see the schedule of tennis matches myself. But, guys, w though one of my favorite players uh, to watch, um, Andy Murray. I love watching Andy Murray. He was a very good player. I, <laughs> I kind of mention it because, like, you guys from UK, what, th what would you think of him? Uh, how long is the stream? Yeah, I might be stopping the stream soon soon but uh, yeah i know it's getting later and i mean f yeah it's sunday night isn't it so i know some people can't stay up too late but yeah there, there's always people on the internet <laughs> not sleeping for multiple reasons but anyway guys mctominay who's on a yellow card let's bring on tonali see here it's not about resting oh pogba deep line playmaker advanced playmaker come on uh, you're from Serbia, so Djokovic is your favourite. Oh, that's fair enough. Nah, no, nah, I watched. I watched the. Did you watch the Australian Open? I'm sure you did. He, 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 uh, with his success, you you would watch him. Uh, yeah, he did a good job. A bit disrespectful from the from the fans. It's like they. 
I feel in tennis, the, cr the crowd likes to support the underdog. I'm not sure what you guys think. But a lot of the time, especially against Djokovic, <laughs> I notice. But yeah, the crowd often likes to see an unexpected... Like, they want to see a good match, you know? That's the point of it. They want to see a longer match. And not just, like, one in three sets. So, that it's understandable from a crowd's point of view. Anyway, Bruno... Bruno Fernandes... Let's... Do we take off Pogba, guys? Do we take off Pogba? And do we now bring on Martial? We're doing the good old switcheroo. Yeah, he doesn't get the respect. Like, he's been a... Ama like, he doesn't get the same level of respect as Federer and Nadal. And he's done... You know, he's had that great success as them. He doesn't get the same level of respect. For... I don't know. What, what would you guys say the reason? All right. Do we go all the way and bring on Torvar as well? Oh, no, sorry. Bring off Torvar and bring on Everton. Well, even though we got Rashford on the... Oh, guys. This is a tough one. But the question is, who would we bring on Rashford for? Mm, that's a tough thing. Do we take off Greenwood and bring on Rashford? Oh, he's back. Did you, did, did you wait? Did you wait? The guy... Guys, he's back. Sorry. Is your name Pav Plays like you want to become a streamer and you're insulting someone else? That's not going to work, mate. I can tell you're going to be like... I'll give you a chance. If you're going to be like that, be respectful or I'm just going to block you. Do you want to get blocked? Keep insulting me behind your computer and you will be. So, yeah. Yeah. He's the guy we, we timed out because he kept on begging. He was probably waiting it, count, counting down the clock. Nah, let's just bring on Everton, you know. Zero followers. And you got plays in your name. <laughs> yeah, do you know... Lads, do you know what the plays is for? With himself. With plays with himself. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Get out of here. F-O-H. YouTube can't pick on that. <laughs> Come on. Luke Shaw. Come on, let's get a winner. Let's get a winner. Oh, Lamina, he's under a bit of pressure. Honestly, I'm going to push up to very attacking here. Oh, there might be a chance we can see the goal. Signings. Signings. That doesn't sound like a good idea, but maybe it is. He scores. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Fuck. That's me realizing it's going to be hard to win now. Ball over the top. We always... It's always a weird one. It had to be... Ah. That's terrible. What... I mean, what do we do now, guys? What do we do? Go direct as we can. Maybe hit some early crosses. It was your little brother. Uh, I honestly... I, I don't really care. This... Like, I'm just like... Whatever. I don't take it too seriously. Just be normal and you can you can stay here, I guess. Like guys, I don't take things too seriously at all. Uh, it's just whatever. If you if you want to enjoy the stream and interact, be here, you know, and be normal. It's it's very simple. It's very simple, and I don't really care. If someone, oh, it was my brother. If it was, again, I don't I don't really worry. It's whatever. <laughs> Come on. we got to get a goal back, though. At a minimum, get a draw. But that's still dropping points when we need to win. Told you guys, it's a busy time. But Marcel, come on, pass it. Greenwood. Gre oh, finish Everton. Everton. Oh, yes. Yes. Draw level at a minimum. We made all our subs. We made all our subs already. Yes. Everton, get in, lad. Probably the easiest goal he's ever going to score. <laughs> we take it. There's enough time. Well, yeah, but we made all subs and we did our... We did a shout as well. No, maybe push forward. Oh, guys. Oh, imagine if we come back. This is going to be scenes. Scenes. No, you had to finish, guys. 
We can't say we didn't have a chance. Yeah, we can't say. We can't say we didn't have an opportunity. That was a great one. Oh, no. I was going to say it didn't. Don't tell me it's Ings again. Oh, Ing. Come on. Who's going to get the winner? Come on, Neymar. Show your magic. Ah, your magic. Giving the ball to the opposition. Martial. Go on. Neymar. Oh, Greenwood. Finish Everton, you shit Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Tenali. Tenali. That's it. Go, go. Go. Neymar, score! You gotta score this! Yes! That's why we paid the millions! That's why we paid the millions! Oh! Come on! This is an important... That could be a title... This could be a title winning three points right here, lads. This could be title winning points. Guys, don't rea Don't interact with him. Focus on this. Focus on this. Come on. Focus on this comeback. Come on. Come on. Look at those goals, though. Look at those goals. Guys, okay, just because it's... It's creating chat with him. Guys, I just timed him out again. Just again, don't don't interact. Don't interact. Focus on this. Yo, what a Neymar hype, guys! I've got a um, like a emote, but I'm waiting for Twitch to approve it. And one of them is a hype one. Oh, I got two, and one of them is is a hype. So it will be a perfect occasion to use it. But I'm assuming we need to wait till a working day and wouldn't get approved through the weekend. Sure. There we go. How how about was that? That was massive. How many of you guys, you thought it was going to be one of those where we lose? Let me know. Yeah, guys, let me know in the chat if you thought it was just going to be one of those games we lose. But I turned it around. Turned it around. Again, for always those those little few people that, you know, have criticisms, let's say. Criticisms of my tactics. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Greenwood, what's his Premier League stats? If we go into stats and Premier League... So he's got six goals in 16 starts. Is that maybe not good enough and not what we're looking for? <laughs> not what we're looking for. Of course, he's still young, but you got to think about it. You got to think about it. Do we not start him as much as we are? How does the emoji stuff work? Well, one I've got, you'll be able to see. The one that I've had made previously is RIP one. And as because I'm not a partner yet, it the, the code for it has to be the first five letters of my name. So it's footy M and then RIP. But of course, it is like for subscribers, as you can see. And then next to my name there, I've got a badge as well. I created that. There was no wait waiting time for that. Uh, Twitch just allows it. Sure. <laughs> All good. All good, though. But more importantly, we got, we got, we got Liverpool. Get Martinez. Hmm, it's interesting. So for now... But guys, what's the odds Greenwood's going to step up and score against Liverpool, though? Involved in 10 goals and 16 starts is decent. So for his rating, I think he's good. I think he's good. And yeah, I mean, what's the odds he's going to step up there um, against Liverpool? Uh, what's that? Bailey Rowell? Rolls? Rouse, Ra is that correct? Uh, cheers, uh, Bailey, what's going on? Thanks for the follow. Cheers. But yeah, guys, we got a big game against Liverpool. You want to see what's going to happen in this one for sure as we are heading towards the end of the year. Well, you should make a longer stream one day, advance like three months in one stream. No, no it did cross my mind. It did cross my mind to do maybe a 12-hour. I'm not... 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw... Yeah, I saw he was doing a uh, Visa. Is that it? I haven't watched a lot of his videos, but I've seen him. Like, I follow him on Twitter and that, and subscribe on YouTube. I'll maybe watch a video here and there, but I'm subscribed to so many people. Yeah, I saw... Like, is he being awake for 60 hours? I wouldn't be able to do 24 hours. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Steven Gerrard. Poof. Guys, what a world we're living in. Gerrard admits that Man United team fully deserved their late goal. Is this an option I can stay for Steven Gerrard? I would have expected no less from Steven. He's one of the nicest and most honest people in football. So I'm just going to say not really, no. I have no thoughts. I don't interact too much. Stay focused. But let's go. Inbox. Yeah, we got a big game against Liverpool though, guys. top of the table and if we win it if we guys suddenly suddenly we'll be five points clear and ahead of goal difference if we beat Liverpool <laughs> just like that and they've had some injury troubles it's the right time to get it it's the right time to get them isn't it it's hard to beat anything when every other word is um 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 <laughs> for Stevie uh, um, um, that's part of the accent, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we we got Liverpool. This is massive. And how about that? Then we got Liverpool next. That's right. Yeah, guys, we got we got the pool. Liverpool. Can we beat them? Finish off strongly. Yeah, we will finish this stream after this level Liverpool one. Uh, should be fitting. It, if we win, <laughs> if we win, it will be fitting. Oh, guys, so he does have high potential. I thought looking at his current ability, but wait till you get the report. Even his current ability, just one start. Very interesting, Borussia Dortmund. Decent talent. So yeah, get him on the shortlist. That shortlist is going to start to build up, yeah. Chelsea draw there as well. Alright guys, make sure you get your predictions here. We probably won't make too much of changes heading into this one. Make sure we go in pretty strongly. Mm, guys, do we start Tenali? Tenali's pra he's played better than McTominay. There we go. Maybe this is where he could make a big name for himself. Obviously, he's played games this season, but he could make a name for himself here. Uh, Sergio will come on for Luke Shaw and probably get in his better old fullback, fullback attack against Liverpool. Yeah, get because well, you know he's good getting forward. And uh, yeah, Luke Shaw needs a rest anyway. All right, I'm I'm happy with this. We're happy with this selection. I'd say so. I'd say so. Or oh, Neymar, though. Guys, oh, Bruno Fernandes is really tired. Oh, this is tough. I reckon Neymar off Martial to start. And then maybe, yeah, Neymar could come on for Bruno Fernandes centrally. You know, that shadow striker, if we need a goal. Oh, Rashford's... Do we start Rashford, what, head of Greenwood? Greenwood's on 91%. Maybe, okay. And Martial will be better as a striker. Yep, yeah, is this the best... This is the best setup to go with. Maybe inside forward then. Yeah. At least the rating wise. And then Pogba, wait. Advanced playmaker. Okay, I'm liking that setup now. I'm really liking the look of it. Then attackers we've got. Then midfield, you've got McTominay in there. Then defenders. Yeah, guys, I tell you what. I tell you what. This is a good setup. This is a good setup. Let's go. Look at him. 
Look at their team, guys. Go, so they're still playing Gomez at left back because of their injuries. And they got Dembele. They signed that Dembele, Musa Dembele. He's a really good striker. You can't you can't deny that. He looks really good attribute wise. Now he's looking like a guy I would have liked the sign. Oh, okay. Assertively. Hmm. Recent form standings. Liverpool's in six and we're first. Let's show them why. Yeah, that motivates them. Show them why we're the better side. Yeah, show them why we're better. So let's see how we go. And there is that Dembele. But Pogba makes the tackle. Pogba. Now it's Sergio. Oh, look, see, look at it. He dances. He dances past them. Pogba. Tenali. Oh, yeah. oh almost. Uh, why sit Neymar? I think you mean... Do you mean sign? Why sign Neymar? Why did we get Neymar? <laughs> uh, even though he's only on the bench for this one. Uh, we had big money. We had big money to spend on one signing, really. And you know, when you, you like 200 million we had in the bank. So we had, yeah, an option to go for a big, big player. And here we go. Oof, got him under pressure early, though. Yeah, guys, we got him under pressure. But what can we do with this? Juan Bissaka. There we go, wide. I mean, bench. Why? Oh, <laughs> oh that's what you mean by why sit Neymar. Oh, I get it now. Um, Bruno Fernandes, let's go. Tonali. Tovam. Wambasaka. Oh, this is neat. And we almost get it done. Guys, Tovan got injured. Ugh, that's not good. We'll bring on Everton. Everton to, to you know, cause damage. Guys, I'm gonna keep make. I'm gonna keep wasting his time. I'm just gonna keep timing him out. I time him out again, and he's he's just gonna be waiting until he comes back and he can say a couple things. And <laughs> we're we're wasting his time here. It's funny to me. <laughs> but guys, yeah, focus. Ooh, notification there. Yes, official hammer. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's keep going though, guys. This is this is a big game. Martial, come on, finish this. Finish this, Martial. Guys, Martial. See, you're confused. Just ban him. But see, the thing is, with, you know, just timing him out, he's waiting until that timeout ends to suddenly get timed out again. So it's like just playing with him. He's waiting and then he gets... It's like waste of his time. Oh! <laughs> Guys, we get it done. We get it done. Look at that. Everton against Liverpool. The story is written. The story is written. Oh, what a goal. What a goal by Everton there. What a strike. Everton to score against Liverpool. It does not get better than that. It does not get better than that. Gomez, he tries one. We've got this. Yeah. Let's finish him. <laughs> finish him this early. Let's see. Cooler belly. Look what he does with the strength.
det här är Everton, Everton, ah, oh, we've got it. Everton is killing Liverpool, guys. It's good for Martial to be scoring. Another one, another one. We've got it. We've got it, guys. Uh, just join. Why no Neymar or Maguire? Well, Neymar, you know, we've got, we've got players in attack on form. Really, Neymar's there. Maguire's on the bench. I mean, Lindelof and Koulibaly. Like, I feel like Lindelof, Maguire, they're similar. I just feel Lindelof ahead of him. That's it. Everton, he's 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 getting it done with Torvan gets an injury. And we're showing we're better than Liverpool. We're showing we're better. Alexander Arnold who? <laughs> Alexander Arnold who? He, he's not doing anything. And now could we make it three? In injury time! No! Tenali went close with that one. Just start Everton, yeah, from now on. He's fine. It's Neymar, of course, you know. We're trying to keep happiness. Happiness throughout the squad. Make another one, emotes. We have to see. Come on now, Sergio. We're killing them. Um, why did he pass that? He literally passed it to the corner flag. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Liverpool, their body language looks good. But their football language doesn't. Their football language doesn't at all. We're in control of them. Has Pogba asked? Yeah, he. we already went through that and it's passed. We've gone, we've passed that situation and now he doesn't want to leave anymore. He's off the transfer list. Requested to be off the transfer list. Yeah, it's all good now. No. Oh, it would have been good to finish there. Wijnaldum, oh, he's under pressure. The pressure we've got him under, guys. Oh, Mo Salah. Could he save Liverpool? Oh. Who did we draw in the champ? Was it Atletico Madrid? We draw Atletico, Madrid Atletico in the Champions League. Do we make a change? You should just sell Neymar and get the money. You're playing well without him. Gets maybe gets Sanchez. Fair enough. I just thought you know he adds a bit more. Definitely. Like look, Bruno Fernandez tired now. Neymar comes on, you know, again, I repeat why we, <laughs> uh, we use him as that shadow striker. Pogba, do we take off Pogba and bring in McTominay now? Just that extra strong defense, ball winning mid on defend. Yeah, he and Tenali will be very strong there. All right, and let's just give a shout. Praise, praise the lads. We've had a good game. We've had a very good game. Sancho is annoying to sign, but Dortmund are doing absolutely terrible. Dortmund are doing terrible. Yeah, we might sell Neymar, especially if we win Champions League. I think so. I think I want to. I want to sell him while he'll still have the value before he drops. Because don't forget, Neymar is twenty-eight. Ideally, I'd want to sell him before he is thirty. So it might be the end of this season. But I want to have. If we don't win the Champions League. I probably want to keep in the next season. I want to, you know, if we don't, we need that Champions League success. And Everton was the player of the match against Liverpool. How about that? How about that, guys? Now nah, he's Neymar. He's slowly, he's slowly getting back. He's slowly getting back. Don't forget Southampton. He scored. He scored the winning goal, guys. He scored the winning goal against Southampton. We needed a winning goal. For ex if we'll just we'll replay again. That was big. That late goal was import as important as Liverpool as just the result we had right now. Well, we would have had two less points. Let's roll back. If you missed this, if you missed this, how big was this by Neymar? He he just got past him and finished. How many players do that? And commercially, uh, guys, I want to just kind of talk about this again. How many players in the game can do what he did here? That can just sprint past a player? That's messy stuff. That's Lionel Messi. Like, who else can do that? Not many. 
Just your normal striker wouldn't do that. Oh, man, that was amazing. And we triumph in the Northwest Derby. Uh, Torvar, that's a bit three to four weeks. So, yeah, Everton's going to come in and start. Uh, Rashford, just one to three days. He'll be okay. Yeah, classy, classy Everton against Liverpool. Isn't that lovely to say? So, that was a great result there, guys. That was a great result for us to finish off uh, this stream as well. And like normally, we'll look to... We'll look to raid someone again. Normally, I like to raid someone who's doing, like, obviously, football manager. Uh, so, yeah, for the stream, that's going to be it for now. We'll just end in the streaming, you know, recording to upload to YouTube. So, that will be it there.